time? It is. Yes. Hi, my name is Megan Seville. I am a library assistant here at the Nixon Public Library, and this is Crafting with Opal. I'm the special guest star. This is Opal behind the camera. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> she is graciously allowing me to teach you how to make a magic cat pen, aka the Cheshire Cat. This is a needle felted craft, which is where you take needle and felt and <laughs> wool. wool and you make a brooch. <laughs> super easy, super fun. And once you learn how to do this, you can make tons of, I can see these brooches, you can make other brooches like this one. It's a little mushroom. Oh, that's so cute. I made my mama bee one. You can make all kinds of little things. And I just realized I did not put the little microphone on here. So um, once you start the class, I'm going to move it closer Perfect. and hopefully. Well, I'm going to it on my hands because yeah. it's detailed. This is detailed. It's a little bit more advanced than we normally do. But I think that this would be a little bit fun to try oh, something different. different. All okay. right. So, I'm going to start kind of getting this made up where we can see what you're going to be working on. All right, okay. So, I got the whole thing, and then I think I'm going to even try to get in here more. Opal is the director, the cinematographer. <laughs> she sees the art designer. <laughs> She's a jack of all trades and master of all as well. Let's see. Alright, and then I'm gonna, I think you're gonna probably be talking a little bit louder than um, Jody did because they had made a comment that they had a hard time. She had her mask on too, yeah. so it made it hard to hear her, so um, we will try to be as loud as possible. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna start out with some kind of felting service, surface, um, a sponge can work. I recommend drawing it out a little bit so it's a little bit stiffer, not too stiff because you want to be able to take your needle and we're using a smaller gauge needle to be able to felt into it. You don't want to break your needle, you just want to gently felt into it. Now, terribly drawn but it's a basic outline of the shape we're going to be doing. We're going to be doing the little cat face and you want to have several different colors to do the different designs. For instance, you want to have a color for the eyes, a color for the ears, the little ridge above the nose, you want to have a nose color, you want to have black and white for the details and the smile, and then an, out, an actual color for the fur pattern. So for the fur pattern, I'm going to be using this green. It's a magic cat, so you can use whatever color you want. <laughs> yeah. So for the magic cat, what we're going to do is we're going to look at the outline Lay down our felting wool. I'm gonna try to zoom in a little bit. And we're gonna start the felt into the outline. If you picked up one of our crafts, just follow the basic outline. Or if you want to shape it yourself, do so. What we're doing is just basically going around the eye because we want to make sure that. It doesn't cover up the eye, but you want to hit the little indentions of the ear, the head. You just want to follow that outline. And then see, this is a little extra wool. We punch it down a little bit more. See, we're keeping this from around the eye. Did you see it's starting to go down? Hey, I just thought of something. Um, I was looking at taking a class um, at this fiber festival. And one of their classes is painting with wool. And this is essentially... Oh, it's wool painting. Yes. Yeah. Essentially what you're teaching us today. That is so cool. So currently, this is, is exactly like Miss Opal said. This is wool painting. This is... You can do all kinds of beautiful artwork. Like a while back, I made a hummingbird for my father. Just a delicate little piece with all the different colors. So you want to make sure that you give it enough punches, as they call it, to keep all this down. Now you're going to follow the outline over here to the other side of the face. See, we're taking that wool and we're stretching it out. But as you can see, we have a little indention for the eye. 
and the mouth. And then if you're not like me, just a quick reminder, you can put on your leather finger gloves. I've been doing this for oh. like a year or two. You'll want to put this on your opposite hand. I'm Oops, left handed. I'm too, way too zoomed in. Let me zoom out. Okay, <laughs> there we go. I'm a left hander. So I just naturally start, but see, no getting through these. So if you have a kit, you will have these little finger guards. They're really useful. I usually, now I'm kind of one of those people that don't use them. I've done it enough that I've learned where my hands are. <laughs> But, but they're handy. <laughs> they're handy. When you're first starting out and you're learning how to go fast and slow, not nick yourself, because it can hurt that needle. Okay. But for demonstration purposes, I'm going to use my fingers. Usually I like to have my, when you're doing it without your gloves, I like to have my nail down, like so. Because then I'm not... Less likely to get the skin, huh? Yep. Less likely to get the skin. Okay, so keep punching the cat. <laughs> keep punching that cat. Nixon Library says punch the cat. Okay, they do not say that. <laughs> okay, now we're going to follow the outline. Are you going around the eyeball now? or Yeah, we're going to go to the other ear in the eyeball. Going around that. So as you can see, and right now it looks a little messy because when you're first setting down the wool, it can be a little bit hard to get that shape. But once you start repeatedly poking into that direction, it's going to get softer and smoother. As you can see, you start to go a little bit faster and then go go into the eyeball I'm going to that curve don't worry about getting a little bit over the lines because you'll just you're going to be covering up with wool on those parts it got out of focus there for a minute but they can still basically see i think that's computers for you phones and things like that they're like hey no i don't want you to see this <laughs> Okay, and then you're gonna keep following that little basic shape. See, as you can tell, it's starting to get into a flatter surface. You're still keeping a basic area, a little opening for the nose and the eyes. Because that wool's gonna go in there. Just need a little bit more green. You don't need much because it is a small surface. You need enough to color it in but it is not that big of a surface area. And then once you start getting used to it, you can grab hold of it. You wanna make sure you're going in and out at the same direction and kind of the same speed because you don't wanna break your needle. Just keep going. There we are. Now we have a basic kind of cat shape. So for my outline color, for my eyes, I plan on doing this which is this lighter Ooh. icy blue. Okay, so split up two pieces. Oh, I may not have saw that. <laughs> I was just zoomed way in. Well, either okay. way, you split All right. some fabric. Okay, it's not even a whole lot of wool, it didn't no, look like. it's not. And especially with wool painting, you want to do small pieces at first for like the details, mm -hmm. because you can always add more. And okay. here's the thing, with what's great about wool painting and things like this, you can take it away too. Like any mistakes you have, okay, just for instance, let me show you this. Look at that. I pull that up. It's nothing. But then, I can just felt it back on. There are no mistakes in wool painting. There's no mistakes. Because <laughs> everything is simple. Now roll it up with your two fingers into like a little ball. And then start punching into there. It's going to get a little bit smaller because once it starts punching into it, it's not as big, but you want his eyes to be a little bit big so it's kind of expressive because you want him to have big bright eyes. Because he's the Cheshire Cat. He's got big eyes and big smile. Okay, so 
So we're going to roll that second little ball. And our cat is coming together. Right now it's a mm -hmm. little bit wonky. And it's like, what is this thing? Trust me. <laughs> Trust me. He's going to get there. And then we're going to start doing the other eye. And if you see he's getting a little fuzzy in certain areas or he needs a little extra, you can always add a little bit more, take a little away. Like I noticed here, he needs a little bit cleaning up. So, there we go. Second eye. As you can see. <laughs> now I'm going to take some of my white wool. I'm going to go ahead with my white wool. I'm going to get a little bit medium-sized piece. Spread that out. I'm going to do his little smile real quick. I'm going to take that, start feeding it into the felt. See, felt is one of those things that you can do this with wool painting like this. You can make brooches, you can make earrings, you can make necklaces, you can actually add things to if you have a wool bag or a hat or a scarf, you can actually add designs. So you can decorate with a little bit of wool and a needle, felting needle. See, like this guy? We're just steadily taking the wool and carefully felting it in. And see how it's steadily getting smaller and thinner? And then later, if it's any like fuzzy sticking up, you can also carefully Trim it up. Takes a minute to shape, but you can see how it's steadily getting to that desired consistency and shape. It is a very relaxing, mindless craft. You don't want to get too mindless because you don't want to stick your fingers, but you can. It's very calming, relaxing, needle felting is. Because it's, and it's a very creative craft. And it's a very forgiving craft because it's so easy when you make a mistake or you feel like you're not doing very good to fix it. See? It's got a big, bright white smile. <laughs> It's coming together. Yep. There you go. And we'll just start kind of shaping along the mouth. Now, we have the design. Now, if you see, like, I don't like how his ear is not as defined. You can just take your needle and gently edge it out. And that's the thing about wool painting and needle felt is that it's so easy to get those little details fine details. And like here, I want him to have a little bit more defined cheek. There we are. Mm. All right, so next part. He's coming together, guys. All right, we're going to take some pink. This is going to be for his little ears and for a little bit of fur above his nose. For above his nose, we're gonna just going to take a little bit, just a little bit of pink. You don't want too much. It's just to highlight to give him little cat stripes. Because the Cheshire Cat is very colorful and bright. He's from Alice in Wonderland. And as they say, we're all mad here. <laughs> he is going to be very mad. Alright, so needle felt that. I'll take that blue. Take it, I'm gonna roll it up with just a thin little bit, just a small little, little tuft. Take that tuft, start applying it to the ear. You're gonna be following kind of the outline of the ear, that triangle, and then carefully, because you don't want it to be too much, you don't wanna overpower it. You just wanna have a little triangle of color. Like 
like a real cat. Real cats are going to have these little triangles. See? I've got just a little triangle. I'm going to put that little tuft there. In a second, we're going to start adding more details to the cat. That way it's a little bit more defined. Because right now he's a little goofy looking. He's just a bunch of colors. <laughs> just a bright shape. And you're free to leave him like that if you want. I prefer adding a little bit more detail. And like here, for instance. His smile is a little wonky. We can press it up. We're going to add a little nose. His nose doesn't need much. Just a little sprig of purple. I'm going to roll it up tight to make just a little tiny ball. We're going to put it right above the mouth. Right above his smile. And we're going to carefully needle felt it into a small little dot. Maybe go along the smile, make sure it blends in. Oops. See? Yep. <laughs> See, you can start seeing that it's a cat. No. <clears throat> We're gonna start adding some details. So, take some black. Oops, okay. Got a little black. And now this, you just need a little dot. You just need a thin, Kind of, um, I kind of like refer to it as almost like a small little, it's like a grain of rice. You see that? It's about the size of a grain of rice. Okay. Because you need a big pupil, but not too big. And the thing is, is that it's going to get a little bit smaller once you start needle felting it. And then you're going to take that, once you've rolled it up, and you're going to apply it horizontally, or horizontally, horizontal, <laughs> vertically, vertically. <laughs> I, I'm like, what is a direction? <laughs> I failed That's geometry. Cool. And see, yep. there's his little eye. Mm. And then you're going to do the second one, that same. Uh, I'm trying to zoom back out again. Okay. <laughs> you're okay. I'm like going in and out. Okay. Opal yes. here is going to win the Oscar for Best Cinematography. I swear this woman, I don't know how she does it. Uh. <laughs> it's terrifying. I can't do it. With the cell phone. Yeah. And then, and I'm going to keep punching this guy. Keep punching the Cheshire Cat. And... And you could kind of almost, the way it is right now, if you don't want to make that the smile... You could, um... Make it his little mouth? Yeah. Add some little lines? Just for the mouth. And you could just have a basic regular cat. Yes, you could. Right there. Yeah, so... That's a basic regular cat. Yeah. And then make sure they're about the same basic width. And it is a little bit smaller. So it can be a little hard to get those details. But... Not too hard. Now we're going to take some white. You don't need much. I'd say about two kind of scraggly little strands. Roll them up into two little tight little, little tiny uh, balls. Tiny, tiny balls. Oh, there we go. Okay. All right, now this is going to be a little highlight. I'm going to put this in the corner of his eye. Ah. To give him a little eye shine because you want to have him, you want him to look bright and real and alive. No. You gotta put them in the same corners, right? Yep, same corners. It kind of makes me think of whenever I was taking painting classes, you have to know the direction of the light yeah. and how it's gonna reflect, yeah, for it to look right. I recommend just choosing one corner and just putting it in that corner. That way it's like. The light's coming out. And see? Ta-da! Hey! <laughs> He's looking like a little friend now. Oof. Now, we're going to take a little bit of black. And now, there's several ways you can do it. You can outline it. You can highlight it. 
I'm going to take it for this one and take a little thin string flat and needle felt it across. Just carefully. And then I'm going to take it, make sure I get the ends. And I'm going to kind of needle felt the long edges right there. And I'm going to take the scissors because you'll want to have some scissors for this. You'll need it in a minute. Trim that up. And you can leave some to make little whiskers or any other design. You can kind of see. <laughs> He's just a fun little Cheshire cat. <laughs> and then go along once you're close to being done. Start looking at him. And then you can go along with the black lines and make little teeth. And then I'm going to take a little bit extra black and I'm going to outline the rest of his smile. That way it's less of a cat beard and more of a cat smile. <laughs> Hashtag hairy cat club. My cat is very fluffy. So she does have a beard and it's really cute. And then carefully needle felt along that. Just the outline of the mouse, right? Yep, just the outline. And it can kind of add some dimension, kind of a pop of color. And you're just using thin little strands of black. You don't need very much at all because you don't want to overpower the little guy. It's very delicate work around this bit. So that's why it can be a little bit more advanced, but once you start doing these kind of delicate bits for the wool painting, I'm telling you, it becomes so much easier and you start being able to do more, go faster. And then go along near the end. Kind of start hitting. There you go. <laughs> All right, now. Yeah. Are you pulling him off? Yep. Okay. This is the fun part. Okay. Here's all the little back parts. Part of the reason with the scissors is that you can go along here, really simplify. You just kind of clean up all that excess wool, make it a little less fuzzy. It'll help it glue down better to our backing. Now, take your scissors and start trimming along. The okay, outline. edges of the uh, yep. okay the outline. Okay. You can either leave it or, like me, you can carefully cut along. That way you just have your fun little cat. And there's your fun little cat. All right, now we're gonna take our backing, make sure this right side, top side is up. And then your cat, See any details you need to get this is your kind of last chance because once it goes on the button there's not much you can do for it unless you want to try to take it off because it is going to be strongly glued down because the glue we're using is e6000 glue i recommend having this in a ventilated area it is a little bit stronger glue to the point where it can be hard to get the lid off of it. <laughs> yeah, give me one sec. <laughs> it is incredibly hard to get off sometimes because it is very strong. So, apply your glue. Let's see, zoom in so they can kind of get a better idea how much. Whoa, that's quite a bit. 
you want to be able to make sure it's spread out. It brings an even surface area. So, start about with. how long should you let that set to dry? I'd say about 15 20 minutes. Oh, that's pretty fast. It's really fast. About like super glue? Yeah, it's like super glue. And let me tell you, it'll come off. And if you get it on your fingers, it'll come off, but it will stick. Mm. And then you can still... Needle felt a little bit? A little bit. But you might get some glue on your little needle felter, right? Yep, you gotta be careful. Gotta not do it for too long, but you can always... And there you go. All right, let me zoom in for the final... All righty. There's your final little cat friend. You can join the other friends. That you <laughs> all your goofy little default <laughs> cats. And then once you start doing little beginner projects like this, you can advance to more like delicate projects, which are a lot, as you can tell, this one's a lot smaller, mm -hmm. a bit more detailed with the shading and everything. And there's that. So I'm going to set this guy out, but here's a special thing we want to share with you. Miss Opal, who is the queen herself, <laughs> has deigned that one of you will be winning this needle felting kit. And all you have to do is comment on this um, post or this video. And um, after a week from now, uh, next Friday, we will um, do a drawing of all the names of the people that make a comment on this um, video. And you will be um, getting a chance to win this set. And it comes like, look at all that wool that's in that little box there. These are several different kits that are made. You can make several different animals, such as this little pug. Yeah, and it has yeah these little templates. Poodle. It shows you. And it's all animal themed. We thought that'd be kind of cute because our summer reading club is um, Tells and Tells. So we did, uh, we decided to do the animal theme. So see, and you even get to some more of those little uh, finger guards and the a whole set of needles. This is a really great tool right here. Let me show you real quick how you use this tool because it's one of those things that sometimes it can be hard to tell. You'll take your needle. This thing will be pressed into here like so. Take that out. You'll hook this to the end. Hook this to the small end. Small end? Okay. Yeah, I looked at the small end and I went, oh, that's the small end. And you'll press that into here. And then ah, so you have a nice uh, holder. holder for it. And this is a nice little felting pad. And then you've got your little finger guards, like she said. And you've got several different kits. And it comes with this nice little bottle with multiple sizes of needles, which is always useful because it's good for big projects and then small, more delicate projects like this. All right, so be sure to make a, a make a, make a comment, put in a comment on this video so you can have a chance to win that, and then next, well not next week, but the next crafting with Opal that is going to be Thursday, July fifteenth at four p.m. We are I'm going to be back doing a paint along, so you will learn how to paint this little mini. Uh, canvas painting of a bunny so um, and it's a very simple fun one to do and still sticking with the summer reading club theme of tells and tells so you even get to do the tail of the bunny um, so anyway um, if you want to participate in this one um, the sign up sheet um, actually I'll go ahead and put it out tomorrow um, just don't forget that there'll be two weeks from then that that class will be July 15th, so at 4 o'clock. And you can get supplies to do that one, too. So thank you, and thank you, Megan, for doing this for us. We really appreciate it. Of course, and, uh, and uh And we, we love doing the needle felting and different crafts here, so it's awesome to have people to come in to do stuff for us. So I'd thank you. i show you all and share, and thank you, Miss Opal, for letting me be a part of this. It's so right. great. So we'll see you next time. So um, be sure to make a comment. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.